Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is how do you ensure server resource isolation and performance in a virtualized environment with multiple VMs? Your answer should be resource isolation involves allocating specific CPU, memory, and storage resources to each virtual machine. Techniques such as resource pools, affinity rules, and memory Ballooning are used to ensure fair resource distribution and prevent resource contention. Our next interview question is, what is the role of a content delivery network CDN in server environments and how does it enhance performance? Your answer should be a CDN delivers wave content from geographically distributed servers, reducing latency and improving the speed of content delivery. It enhances performance by casting content closer to end users, distributing the load and optimizing data transfer. Our next interview question is, how do you stay informed about emerging trends and technologies in server management? Your answer should be staying informed involves regularly reading industry publications, participating in online forums, attending webinars, joining professional organizations, and pursuing continuous education through training and certifications. Our next interview question is, can you discuss the advantages and challenges of using serverless computing in modern IT architectures? Your answer should be, serverless computing eliminates the need for managing server infrastructure, enabling developers to focus on code. Advantages include cost savings and scalability. Challenges may include vendor lock-in, increased complexity, and potential latency. Our next interview question is, what measures do you take to ensure server compliance with data privacy regulations such as GDPR or HIPAA? Your answer should be ensuring compliance involves implementing security controls, encryption, access restrictions, regular audits, and maintaining documentation to demonstrate adherence to specific data privacy regulations. Our next interview question is, how do you approach server troubleshooting when faced with performance issues or unexpected downtime. Your answer should be, server troubleshooting involves a systematic approach, starting with identifying symptoms, checking logs, analyzing performance metrics, and isolating the root cause. Collaboration with relevant teams and using diagnostic tools is crucial for efficient troubleshooting. Our next interview question is, can you provide an example of a challenging server-related issue you have encountered and how you resolve it? Your answer should be, share a specific scenario where you faced a server-related challenge, describe the steps you took to troubleshoot and resolve the issue, and highlight the lessons learned or preventive measures implemented to avoid similar problems in the future. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, 
you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is what are some key considerations when selecting server hardware for an organization's needs? Your answer should be key considerations include performance requirements, scalability, redundancy, compatibility with existing infrastructure, budget constraints, and future growth projections. Our next interview question is How do you ensure server security and what are some common security measures you would implement? Your answer should be Server security involves implementing access controls, regular software updates and patches, firewall configurations, encryption of sensitive data, strong authentication methods, and monitoring for suspicious activity. Our next interview question is, can you discuss the importance of RAID configurations in server environments and what are some common RAID levels? Your answer should be RAID configurations provide redundancy and improve performance for server storage. Common RAID levels include RAID 0 striping, RAID 1 mirroring, RAID 5 striping with parity, and RAID 10 striping and mirroring. Our next interview question is What are some common server operating systems and how do they differ in terms of? features and use cases. Your answer should be common server operating systems include Windows Server, Linux distributions such as Ubuntu Server, CentOS, Unix-based systems like FreeBSD, Solaris, and hypervisors such as VMware, ESXi, Microsoft Hyper-V. Our next interview question is, how do you approach server capacity planning and what factors do you consider? Your answer should be server capacity planning involves assessing current and future resource requirements, considering factors such as CPU, memory, storage, network bandwidth, and workload demands. It also involves scalability, redundancy, and budget constraints. Our next interview question is, can you explain the concept of virtualization and how does it benefit server environments? Your answer should be virtualization involves creating multiple virtual instances, that is virtual machines, on a single physical server. It benefits server environments by improving resource utilization, scalability, flexibility, and reducing hardware costs. Our next interview question is, what steps do you take to troubleshoot server hardware issues and what tools do you use? Your answer should be troubleshooting server hardware issues involves identifying faulty components through diagnostic tests, hardware logs, and vendor documentation. Common tools include hardware diagnostic utilities, system logs, 
and remote management interfaces. Our next interview question is, how do you manage server backups and what are some best practices for backup and recovery? Your answer should be server backups should be scheduled regularly, stored securely off-site and tested periodically to ensure data integrity. Best practices include implementing a backup rotation schedule using multiple backup locations and automating backup processes. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is How do you ensure server compliance with industry standards and regulatory requirements? Your answer should be ensuring server compliance involves identifying relevant industry standards, for example, PCI DSS and HIPAA, and regulatory requirements, for example, GDPR and SOX, implementing necessary security controls, conducting regular audits, and maintaining documentation to demonstrate compliance. Our next interview question is, can you discuss the role of server monitoring and alerting in proactive server management? Your answer should be server monitoring involves real-time monitoring of server performance, health and security metrics. Alerts are triggered based on predefined thresholds allowing administrators to proactively address issues before they impact operations. Our next interview question is, what steps do you take to ensure remote access to servers and what technologies do you use? Your answer should be securing remote access involves implementing strong authentication methods, example multi-factor authentication encrypting data transmission using protocols like SSL and TLS, restricting access through firewalls and access control lists, and using secure remote access technologies such as VPNs and remote desktop protocols RDP. Our next interview question is, how do you handle server software updates and patches and what considerations do you take into account? Your answer should be server software updates and patches are applied regularly to address security vulnerabilities, improve performance and add new features. Considerations include scheduling maintenance windows to minimize disruption, testing updates in a non-production environment, and having rollback procedures in place in case of issues. Our next interview question is, can you discuss the importance of documentation in server management and what types of documentations are essential? Your answer should be documentation is essential for maintaining an accurate record of server configurations, network layouts, security policies, troubleshooting procedures, and disaster recovery plans. Types of documentation include server inventories, network diagrams, 
configuration guides, standard operating procedures, SOPs, and incident response plans. Our next interview question is, what is CompTIA Server Plus Certification and why is it valuable in the IT industry? Your answer should be CompTIA Server Plus is a vendor neutral certification that validates the skills and knowledge required to build, maintain, troubleshoot and support server, hardware and software technologies. It's valuable in the IT industry as it demonstrates proficiency in server management, which is essential for organizations relying on server infrastructure. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is Discuss the differences between physical and logical server topologies. Provide examples of each. Your answer should be physical server topology refers to the physical layout of servers and their connections such as rack-mounted servers in a data center. Logical server topology refers to how servers are logically organized and accessed, such as in a client-server or peer-to-peer -peer network. Our next interview question is, discuss the role of server monitoring in proactive server management and performance optimization. What metrics do you monitor and how do you respond to anomalies? Your answer should be server monitoring involves tracking performance metrics such as CPU uses, memory utilization, disk I.O. and network traffic to identify potential issues and optimize performance. Anomalies are identified through threshold-based alerts and appropriate actions are taken to investigate and resolve them. Our next interview question is, how do you manage server configurations and ensure consistency across multiple servers in an environment? Your answer should be server configuration management involves using automation tools such as Puppet, Ceph, or Ansible to deploy and manage server configurations consistently. This ensures that servers are configured according to standards and reduces the risk of configuration drift. Our next interview question is explain the role of DHCP server in a network environment. How does DHCP facilitate IP address assignment to client devices? Your answer should be DHCP that is dynamic host configuration protocol server automatically assigns IP addresses to client devices on a network. It simplifies network administration by dynamically allocating IP addresses from a defined range and providing other configuration parameters such as subnet mask, default gateway, and DNS server information. Our next interview question is, Discuss the importance of server monitoring for proactive management. What are some key performance metrics you monitor and how do you respond to deviations from normal values? 
Your answer should be server monitoring is crucial for detecting and resolving issues before they impact system performance or availability. Key performance metrics include CPU utilization, memory uses, disk I.O., network traffic, and system uptime. Deviations from normal values trigger alerts and appropriate actions such as investigating the root cause and applying corrective measures are taken to restore optimal performance. Our next interview question is, how do you approach server storage management to ensure data availability and integrity? Your answer should be server storage management involves implementing redundancy, backups, and data integrity checks to ensure data availability and integrity. This includes configuration RAID arrays for redundancy, scheduling regular backups, and implementing checksums or other integrity checks to detect data corruption. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA-based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is What measures do you take to ensure server compliance with industry standards and regulations such as GDPR or PCI DSS? Your answer should be ensuring server compliance involves implementing security controls, conducting regular audits, and maintaining documentation to demonstrate adherence to specific industry standards and regulations. This may include encryption access controls and security policies tailored to meet regulatory requirements. Our next interview question is explain the concept of server hardening and some common hardening techniques used to secure servers. Your answer should be server hardening involves implementing security measures to reduce vulnerabilities and strengthen server security. Common techniques include disabling unnecessary services applying security patches and updates, configuring firewalls, using encryption and enforcing strong authentication methods. Our next interview question is, discuss the importance of documentation in server management, particularly in maintaining an accurate record of configurations, procedures and incidents. Your answer should be documentation is crucial for maintaining an organized record of server's configurations, network layouts, security policies, troubleshooting procedures, and incident responses. It provides valuable references, materials for administrators, facilitates knowledge sharing, and ensures consistency in server management practices. Our next interview question is, how do you approach server capacity planning to accommodate future growth and ensure scalability? Your answer should be server capacity planning involves forecasting resource requirements based on current users' trends and anticipated growth. It includes assessing CPU, memory, storage, and network bandwidth needs 
and designing server architectures that can scale dynamically to meet evolving demands. Our next interview question is, explain the concept of server consolidation and its benefits in optimizing resource utilization and reducing infrastructure costs. Your answer should be server consolidation involves consolidating multiple physical servers onto a smaller number of more powerful servers or virtual machines. It optimizes resource utilization, reduces hardware and maintenance costs, simplifies management and improves energy efficiency. Our next interview question is, discuss the role of server operating systems in server management and the importance of selecting the appropriate OS for specific server workloads. Your answer should be server operating systems provide the foundation for server functionality and manage hardware resources, networking, security and applications. Selecting the appropriate OS depends on factors such as workload, requirements, compatibility with existing infrastructure, security features and licensing considerations. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. For interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is can you discuss the importance of server room physical security and what measures do you implement to secure server rooms? Your answer should be physical security measures for server rooms include restricted access with biometric or card based entry systems, surveillance cameras, environmental controls and securing racks and cabinets. Access logs and monitoring help track entry and exit. Our next interview question is, how do you conduct server performance tuning to optimize server resources and improve efficiency? Your answer should be server performance tuning involves adjusting system parameters, optimizing configurations, and adjusting resource allocations to achieve optimal performance. It may include adjusting CPU affinity, memory settings, disk I.O., and network configurations based on workload demands. Our next interview question is, what are some considerations when designing a disaster recovery plan for server systems? Your answer should be disaster recovery planning involves identifying critical systems, defining recovery time objectives, RTOs, and recovery point objectives, RPOs, establishing backup and restoration procedures, implementing redundant systems and conducting regular drills to test the effectiveness of the plan. Our next interview question is, how do you address server scalability in anticipation of increased workloads or business growth? Your answer should be scalability involves designing server environments to handle increased workloads 
This may include deploying additional servers, implementing load balancing, optimizing code efficiency, and leveraging cloud services for elastic scalability. Our next interview question is, can you explain the role of server certificates and SSL TLS in securing server communications? Your answer should be server certificates are used in SSL TLS protocols to establish secure encrypted connections between clients and servers. They authenticate the server's identity and enable secure data transmission commonly used in web servers and email servers. Our next interview question is, how do you manage server configurations in a large-scale environment and what tools do you use for configuration management? Your answer should be configuration management involves maintaining consistency and control over server configurations. Tools such as Puppet, Ansible or Ceph can automate configuration tasks ensuring standardization, version control, and quick deployment of changes. Our next interview question is, what role does DHCP, that is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, play in server environments, and how do you configure and manage DHCP servers? Your answer should be DHCP automates the assignment of IP addresses in a network. Configuration involves setting lease durations, defining IP address ranges, and specifying default gateway and DNS server information. Monitoring and logging help manage DHCP servers effectively. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA-based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is, Can you discuss the importance of backup and disaster recovery planning for server systems? Your answer should be, Backup and disaster recovery planning are crucial for protecting against data loss and minimizing downtime in the event of hardware failures, natural disasters, or cyber attacks. This involves regular backups, off site storage, testing of recovery procedures, and documentation of recovery plans. Our next interview question is, how do you monitor server performance and identify performance bottlenecks? Your answer should be, server performance monitoring involves analyzing metrics such as CPU utilization, memory uses, disk I.O., and network traffic. Performance bottlenecks can be identified through performance monitoring tools and techniques such as load testing and capacity planning. Our next interview question is, what are some common server management tools and utilities that you have used? Your answer should be common tools include server management consoles, for example, Microsoft Server Manager, VMware vSphere, monitoring tools, for example, Nagios, 
Zabbix, remote administration tools, for example, SSH and RDP, and diagnostic utilities, for example, Sys internals suit for Windows servers. Our next interview question is, how do you ensure high availability and fault tolerance in server environments? Your answer should be, high availability is achieved through redundant hardware components. For example, RAID arrays, redundant power supplies, clustering technologies, load balancing, and failover mechanisms. Fault tolerance involves designing systems to continue operating in the event of hardware or software failures. Our next interview question is, can you explain the concept of server hardening and its importance in cybersecurity? Your answer should be server hardening involves implementing security measures to reduce the attack surface and minimize security vulnerabilities. This includes tasks such as disabling unnecessary services, applying security patches, configuring firewalls, and implementing access controls. Our next interview question is, how do you ensure compliance with industry standards and regulatory requirements in server management? Your answer should be compliance involves adhering to standards such as PCI DSS, HIPAA, or GDPR, as well as industry best practices, for example, CIS benchmarks. This may involve implementing specific security controls, conducting audits, and maintaining documentation to demonstrate compliance. Our next interview question is, what is CompTIA Server Plus and what does it certify? Your answer should be CompTIA Server Plus is a vendor-neutral certification that validates the knowledge and skills required to build, maintain, troubleshoot, and support server hardware and software technologies. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA-based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is Can you discuss the role of server monitoring in proactive server management and what metrics do you monitor? Your answer should be Server monitoring involves tracking performance metrics such as CPU uses, memory utilization, disk I.O., network traffic, and system uptime. It helps identify performance bottlenecks, anticipate hardware failures, and ensure optimal server performance. Our next interview question is, how do you ensure compliance with industry standards and regulations in server management? Your answer should be ensuring compliance involves implementing security controls and configurations that adhere to industry standards and regulations such as PCI DSS, HIPAA, GDPR, and SOX. This includes regular audits, security assessments, 
and documentation of security policies and procedures. Our next interview question is, what are some common server security threats and how do you mitigate them? Your answer should be common server security threats include malware, phishing attacks, unauthorized access, data breaches, and DDoS attacks. Mitigation strategies include implementing firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, antivirus software, access controls, and security patches. Our next interview question is, how do you approach server software updates and patches and what considerations do you take into account? Your answer should be, server software updates and patches should be applied regularly to address security vulnerabilities and improve system stability. Considerations include scheduling maintenance windows to minimize downtime, testing updates in a non-production environment, and having rollback procedures in place. Our next interview question is, can you discuss the importance of documentation in server management and what types of documentations are essential? Your answer should be documentation is crucial for maintaining an accurate record of server configurations, network layouts, security policies, troubleshooting procedures, and disaster recovery plans. Essential documentation includes server inventories, network diagrams, configuration guides, standard operating procedures, SOPs, and incident response plans. Our next interview question is, how do you handle server lifecycle management, including procurement, deployment, and decommissioning? Your answer should be server lifecycle management involves planning for new server acquisitions, ensuring proper deployment with necessary configurations, monitoring and maintaining servers during their operational life, and safely decommissioning servers at the end of their life cycle. This includes data sanitization and disposal procedures. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA-based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on CompTIA Server Plus SK0 is What is CompTIA Server Plus certification and why is it important? Your answer should be CompTIA Server Plus is a certification that validates the skills and knowledge required to be a server administrator or technicians. It is important because it demonstrates proficiency in managing, maintaining, and troubleshooting server hardware and software. Our next interview question is, can you explain the role of a server administrator in an organization? Your answer should be, a server administrator is responsible for managing server hardware, software, and related infrastructure, 
to ensure the smooth operation of an organization's IT systems. This includes tasks such as installation, configuration, maintenance, monitoring, and troubleshooting. Our next interview question is, how do you ensure the security of server systems and data? Your answer should be, security measures include implementing access controls, encryption, regular patching and updates, configuring firewalls, intrusion detection and prevention systems, IDS and IPS and conducting regular security audits. Our next interview question is, can you describe the array ID that is redundant array of independent disks and its importance in server environments? Your answer should be, array ID is a data storage technology that combines multiple physical disk drives into a single logical unit for data redundancy, performance improvement, or both. It's important in server environments for data protection, fault tolerance, and improved storage performance. Our next interview question is, what are some best practices for server hardware maintenance and troubleshooting? Your answer should be, best practices include regular hardware inspections, firmware updates, cleaning of components, monitoring system health indicators, and maintaining accurate documentation of hardware configurations. Our next interview question is, how do you handle server operating system installations and configurations? Your answer should be, server OS installations involve tasks such as partitioning disks, selecting appropriate file systems, configuring network settings, installing device drivers, and setting up user accounts and permissions. Our next interview question is, what role does virtualization play in modern server environments and how do you manage virtualized servers? Your answer should be virtualization enables the creation of multiple virtual machines, VMs, on a single physical server improving resource utilization and scalability. Managing virtualized servers involves tasks such as VM provisioning, resource allocation, performance monitoring, and backup and restore operations. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is How do you stay updated with the latest server technologies, trends, and best practices in server management? Your answer should be Staying updated involves continuous learning through industry publications, attending conferences, participating in training courses, and obtaining relevant certifications. It also includes networking with peers, experimenting with new technologies in lab environments, and following 
online forums and blogs dedicated to server management. Our next interview question is explain the role of RAID redundant array of independent disks in server storage configurations. How does RAID contribute to data protection and performance improvement? Your answer should be RAID provides redundancy and performance improvements by distributing data across multiple disks in various configurations. It protects against data loss due to disk failures and can improve read and write performance depending on the RAID label. Our next interview question is discuss the differences between physical and logical server topologies. Provide examples of each. Your answer should be physical server topology refers to the physical layout of servers and their connections, such as rack mounted servers in a data center. Logical server topology refers to how servers are logically organized and accessed, such as in client server or peer to peer network. Our next interview question is How do you ensure server hardware compatibility when upgrading or replacing server components? Your answer should be ensuring server hardware compatibility involves researching and selecting components that are compatible with the server's architecture, firmware, and operating system. It's important to consult vendor documentation and compatibility lists before making any upgrades or replacements. Our next interview question is explain the concept of server virtualization and its benefits in server management and resource optimization. Your answer should be server virtualization involves running multiple virtual servers VMs on a single physical server. It optimizes resource utilization by consolidating server workloads, reducing hardware costs and improving scalability and flexibility. Our next interview question is what are the key considerations when designing a server backup and recovery strategy? Your answer should be key considerations include defining recovery point objectives RPOs and recovery time objectives RTOs, selecting appropriate backup methods and frequencies, implementing off-site storage for backups, testing backup recovery procedures regularly and ensuring compliance with regulatory requirements. Our next interview question is how do you handle server security updates and patches to mitigate security vulnerabilities? Your answer should be server security updates and patches should be applied regularly to address security vulnerabilities and improve system stability. This involves scheduling maintenance windows, testing updates in a non-production environment, and having rollback procedures in place in case of issues. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is 
discuss the importance of server monitoring and management tools in maintaining server health and performance. Your answer should be server monitoring and management tools are essential for tracking server health performance metrics and resource utilization. They help administrators identify and address issues proactively, optimize performance, and ensure high availability of server resources. Our next interview question is, what are some common server hardware components and how do they contribute to server functionality? Your answer should be common server hardware components include CPUs, memory, RAM, storage devices, HDDs and SSDs, network interfaces, power supplies and cooling systems. Each component plays a crucial role in server functionality such as processing data, storing information and facilitating network communication. Our next interview question is, how do you ensure data integrity and reliability in server storage systems, particularly in RAID configurations? Your answer should be data integrity and reliability in RAID configurations are ensured through redundancy and error detection mechanisms. RAID levels like RAID1 mirroring and RAID5 striping with parity provide data redundancy, while RAID controllers use error checking algorithms to maintain data integrity. Our next interview question is discuss the role of server security in protecting against cyber security threats and what measures do you implement to secure servers? Your answer should be server security measures include implementing access controls, applying security patches and updates regularly, configuring firewalls, using encryption, enforcing strong password policies, conducting security audits, and implementing intrusion detection prevention systems. Our next interview question is, explain the concept of server virtualization and its benefits in server management and resource utilization. Your answer should be, server virtualization involves creating virtual instances, that is virtual machines, on a single physical server. It allows for better resource utilization, improved scalability, simplified management and cost savings by reducing the number of physical servers needed. Our next interview question is, how do you approach server troubleshooting when faced with performance issues or system errors? Your answer should be server troubleshooting involves a systematic approach including identifying symptoms, analyzing logs and performance metrics, isolating the root cause and implementing solutions to resolve the issue. It may also involve consulting vendor documentation and seeking assistance from online forums or support channels. Our next interview question is discuss the role of server backups and disaster recovery planning in ensuring data protection and business continuity. Your answer should be server backups and disaster recovery planning are essential for protecting data and ensuring business continuity in the event of hardware failures natural disasters or cybersecurity incidents. Regular backups of site storage and well-documented recovery procedures are 
key components of a robust disaster recovery plan. If you are preparing for any CompTIA based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is How do you monitor server performance and what metrics do you look for? Your answer should be Server performance monitoring involves using monitoring tools to track metrics such as CPU uses, memory utilization, disk I.O., network traffic, server uptime, and application response times to identify performance bottlenecks and ensure optimal server performance. Our next interview question is, what are some best practices for server room or environmental management? Your answer should be best practices include maintaining proper temperature and humidity levels, ensuring adequate ventilation and cooling, organizing cabling for airflow and accessibility, implementing fire suppression systems, and securing physical access to server rooms. Our next interview question is, what is the role of a server administrator and how does CompTIA Server Plus certification validate this role? Your answer should be a server administrator is responsible for the management, maintenance and security of server infrastructure within an organization. CompTIA Server Plus certification validates the skills and knowledge required to perform these tasks efficiently. Our next interview question is, can you explain the importance of server hardware compatibility and how you ensure it during server deployments? Your answer should be server hardware compatibility ensures that components such as CPU, RAM, storage, and network interfaces work seamlessly together. It's crucial for stable server operations. Compatibility is ensured by referring to hardware compatibility lists provided by server manufacturers and conducting thorough compatibility testing during server deployments. Our next interview question is, how do you handle server hardware failures and what steps do you take to minimize downtime? Your answer should be handling server hardware failures involves identifying the faulty component, replacing it if necessary, and res restoring services. To minimize downtime, redundant hardware components such as power supplies, RAID configurations, and hot swappable hardware are utilized. Additionally, having comprehensive backup and disaster recovery plans in place is essential. Our next interview question is, what are the key differences between physical servers and virtual servers, and how do you manage them differently? Your answer should be physical servers are standalone machines, while virtual servers are software-defined instances running on physical hardware. 
physical servers require individual management of hardware components while virtual servers are managed through hypervisor software. Management tasks for virtual servers include provisioning, resource allocation, and performance monitoring. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA-based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is Explain the role of server load balancing in distributing incoming network traffic across multiple servers. Your answer should be server load balancing involves distributing incoming network traffic across multiple servers to optimize resource utilization, improve scalability, and ensure high availability and reliability of services. Our next interview question is discuss the challenges and considerations involved in server consolidation projects. Your answer should be server consolidation projects involve migrating multiple physical servers onto a smaller number of virtualized servers or cloud instances. Challenges include assessing compatibility, performance and resource requirements as well as managing dependencies and ensuring data integrity throughout the migration process. Our next interview question is, how do you approach server capacity planning to ensure optimal performance and resource allocation? Your answer should be, server capacity planning involves assessing current uses, predicting future growth, and allocating resource accordingly. It includes monitoring performance metrics, analyzing trends, and scaling resources as needed to meet demand. Our next interview question is, Discuss the role of Active Directory in server environments and how do you manage user accounts and permissions. Your answer should be Active Directory AD is a directory service used for centralized user management and authentication in Windows environments. User accounts and permissions are managed through AD which allows administrators to create, modify, and delete user accounts, assign permissions, and control access to resources. Our next interview question is, what are some common server backup methods and how do you determine the appropriate backup strategy for an organization? Your answer should be common backup methods include full, incremental, and differential backups. The appropriate backup strategy depends on factors such as data volume, recovery time objectives, RTOs, and recovery point objectives, RPOs, as well as budget constraints and regulatory requirements. Our next interview question is, how do you ensure server uptime and availability in high availability environments? Your answer should be ensuring server uptime and availability involves implementing redundancy and failover mechanisms. 
This includes using clustering, load balancing, and redundant hardware configurations to minimize single points of failure and ensure continuous operation. Our next interview question is explain the concept of server hardening and what measures do you take to secure server operating systems? Your answer should be server hardening involves strengthening security by reducing the attack surface and minimizing vulnerabilities. Measures include applying security patches and updates, disabling unnecessary services, configuring firewalls, implementing access controls, and using encryption. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA-based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is What are your long-term goals in the field of server administration and how does CompTIA Server Plus fit into your career plans? Your answer should be discuss your aspirations within the field of server administration, whether it's advancing to a senior role specializing in a specific area, for example, cloud computing and cybersecurity, or contributing to the organization's IT strategy. Explain how obtaining the CompTIA Server Plus certification aligns with these goals by validating your skills and knowledge in server management and enhancing your career prospects. Our next interview question is, can you explain the role of a server administrator? Your answer should be a server administrator is responsible for managing server operations including installation, configuration, maintenance, monitoring, and troubleshooting to ensure the availability, reliability, and security of servers within an organization's IT infrastructure. Our next interview question is, what are some common RAID levels and their characteristics? Your answer should be RAID 0 striping offers improved performance and capacity but no data redundancy. RAID 1 mirroring provides data redundancy by creating identical copies of data on separate drives. RAID 5 Striping with Parity combines striping with parity for data redundancy and improved performance. RAID 10 Striping and Mirroring combines RAID 0 and RAID 1 for improved performance and redundancy. Our next interview question is, how do you ensure server security? Your answer should be server security measures include implementing access controls, regularly applying security patches and updates, configuring firewalls, implementing encryption, conducting regular security audits, and enforcing strong password policies. Our next interview question is, what are some common server visualization technologies and how do they work? 
Your answers should be common server virtualization technologies include VMware vSphere, Microsoft Hyper-V, and KVM that is kernel-based virtual machine. They work by abstracting physical hardware resources and creating virtual machines, VMs, that run multiple operating systems and applications on a single physical server. Our next interview question is, how do you troubleshoot server hardware issues? Your answer should be troubleshooting server hardware issues involves identifying and isolating faulty hardware components such as CPUs, RAM, hard drives, power supplies, and network adapters using diagnostic tools, hardware logs, and vendor documentation. Our next interview question is, what steps do you take to ensure server backups are performed correctly? Your answer should be steps for ensuring correct server backups include defining backup policies, selecting appropriate backup methods, full incremental differential, scheduling regular backups, verifying backup integrity, storing backups securely off-site, and testing backup restoration procedures. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA-based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is How do you manage server configurations to maintain consistency across multiple servers? Your answer should be Server configuration management involves using configuration management tools like Puppet, Ansible, or Safe to automate the provisioning, configuration, and management of server infrastructure, ensuring consistency and reducing manual errors. Our next interview question is, explain the importance of log management and analysis in server security and troubleshooting. Your answer should be, log management involves collecting, storing, and analyzing logs generated by server systems, applications, and network devices. It's crucial for security incident detection, troubleshooting, compliance auditing, and performance analysis. Our next interview question is, discuss the significance of server virtualization in modern IT infrastructure and its benefits. Your answer should be, server virtualization allows multiple virtual machines, VMs, to run on a single physical server, improving resource utilization, scalability, and flexibility, while reducing hardware costs and enhancing disaster recovery capabilities. Our next interview question is, how do you handle server performance tuning to optimize server resources and application performance? Your answer should be server performance tuning involves optimizing hardware and software configurations adjusting system parameters and monitoring performance metrics to ensure optimal resource utilization and application performance. 
Our next interview question is explain the concept of server clustering and its role in achieving high availability. Your answer should be server clustering involves grouping multiple servers together to work as a single system providing redundancy and failover capabilities to ensure continuous service availability in the event of server failures. Our next interview question is discuss the importance of server room environmental monitoring and its impact on server reliability. Your answer should be server room environmental monitoring involves monitoring temperature, humidity, power and other environmental factors to ensure optimal operating conditions for server hardware minimizing the risk of hardware failure and downtime. Our next interview question is how do you ensure compliance with regulatory requirements and industry standards in server management? Your answer should be ensuring compliance involves implementing security controls, policies, and procedures that align with regulatory requirements such as HIPAA, GDPR, PCI DSS, and industry standards like CIS benchmarks. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is Explain the concept of load balancing in server environments. How does it improve performance and reliability? Your answer should be load balancing involves distributing network traffic across multiple servers to optimize resource utilization, enhance performance and ensure high availability. It improves performance by preventing individual servers from being overloaded and enhances reliability by providing redundancy. Our next interview question is, what is the role of server clustering and how does it contribute to high availability? Your answer should be server clustering involves grouping multiple servers together to work as a single system. It contributes to high availability by providing failover mechanisms. If one server fails, another server in the cluster takes over to maintain uninterrupted service. Our next interview question is. How do you approach server patch management and what strategies do you use to minimize the impact on production systems? Your answer should be server patch management involves planning, testing and deploying updates to address security vulnerabilities. Strategies include scheduling updates during maintenance windows testing in a non-production environment and having rollback procedures in case of issues. Our next interview question is discuss the role of IP addressing and subnetting in server networking. How do you design an effective IP addressing scheme? Your answer should be IP addressing and subnetting involve 
allocating IP addresses logically to facilitate efficient network communication. An effective IP addressing scheme considers the number of devices, network topology, and growth projections to avoid IP address conflicts and optimize routing. Our next interview question is, how do you secure server communication over networks? Discuss encryption protocols and their significance. Your answer should be, server communication is secured through encryption protocols like SSL and TLS. These protocols encrypt data during transmission, ensuring confidentiality and integrity. Implementing secure protocols such as HTTPS, SSH and VPNs helps protect sensitive information. Our next interview question is, explain the concept of server virtualization and its benefits in resource utilization. Your answer should be, server virtualization involves creating virtual instances, VMs, on a single physical server. Benefits include increased resource utilization, reduced hardware costs, scalability, and the ability to run multiple operating systems on a single physical host. Our next interview question is, how do you ensure data integrity and reliability in server storage systems? Your answer should be, data integrity is ensured through measures like RAID configurations, regular backups, and storage redundancy. Redundant storage arrays and backup systems contribute to reliability, minimizing the risk of data loss due to hardware failures. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA-based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is Discuss the challenges and considerations involved in migrating servers to the cloud. How do you plan and execute a successful server migration? Your answer should be, server migration to the cloud involves assessing dependencies, data transfer considerations, security implications, and testing for compatibility. Planning includes selecting appropriate cloud services, estimating costs, and creating a phased migration approach to minimize downtime. Our next interview question is explain the concept of server hardening and its importance in server security. Your answer should be server hardening involves implementing security measures to reduce the attack surface and minimize vulnerabilities in server environments. It's important for enhancing server security posture and protecting against potential cyber threats. Our next interview question is, how do you ensure data redundancy and fault tolerance in server storage systems? Your answer should be data redundancy and fault tolerance are achieved through RAID, that is, redundant array of independent disks configurations, 
which distributes data across multiple disks to ensure data integrity and availability even in the event of disk failures. Our next interview question is, what role does DHCP, that is Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, play in server networking and how do you configure DHCP servers? Your answer should be DHCP automates the assignment of IP addresses and network configurations parameters to devices on a network. DHCP servers are configured with IP address ranges, lease durations, and other network parameters to manage IP address allocation. Our next interview question is explain the concept of containerization in server environments and its benefits. Your answer should be containerization involves encapsulating applications and their dependencies into lightweight portable containers. Benefits include improved scalability, efficiency, and consistency in deploying and managing applications across different environments. Our next interview question is. How do you approach server backup strategies and what factors do you consider when designing backup plans? Your answer should be server backup strategies involve defining backup schedules, selecting backup methods that is full incremental and differential, determining retention policies, and considering factors like RTO that is recovery time objective and RPO recovery point objective to ensure data availability and recovery. Our next interview question is discuss the role of server monitoring in maintaining optimal server performance. Your answer should be server monitoring involves tracking server performance metrics such as CPU users, memory utilization, disk I.O., and network traffic to identify performance bottlenecks, troubleshoot issues, and ensure optimal server performance. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below. Today we are discussing the interview questions and answers for CompTIA Server Plus SK0. You can download the complete list of CompTIA based questions from the link provided in the description. Our interview question based on Server Plus SK0 is Discuss the importance of logging and monitoring in server management. What types of logs do you regularly review? Your answer should be Logging and monitoring are crucial for identifying issues, detecting anomalies, and ensuring security. Regularly reviewing logs, including system logs, system security logs, and application logs, help in proactive troubleshooting and security incident detection. Our next interview question is, how do you handle server configurations in a large-scale environment to maintain consistency? Your answer should be configuration management tools like Puppet, Ansible, or Ceph automate server configurations, ensuring consistency, version control, and quick deployment of changes. This helps in managing large-scale server environments efficiently. 
Our next interview question is explain the concept of network segmentation in server security. How does it enhance security posture? Your answer should be network segmentation involves dividing a network into smaller segments to limit communication between segments. It enhances security by containing potential security breaches reducing the attack surface and preventing lateral movement of attackers within the network. Our next interview question is discuss the role of DNS that is domain name system in server environments and its significance in network communication. Your answer should be DNS translates domain names into IP addresses facilitating communication on the internet. In server environments, DNS is crucial for host name resolution ensuring that servers can be accessed using human-readable names rather than IP addresses. Our next interview question is how do you approach disaster recovery planning for server systems? What components do you include in a comprehensive disaster recovery plan? Your answer should be disaster recovery planning involves identifying critical systems, establishing recovery objectives, creating backup and restoration procedures and defining roles and responsibilities. Components include backup strategies, off-site storage, communication plans, and regular testing. Our next interview question is, explain the concept of a server rack and how does it contribute to efficient server management and organizations. Your answer should be a server rack is a frame that houses and organizes server equipment. It contributes to efficient server management by providing a standardized structure for mounting servers, optimizing airflow, and simplifying cable management. Our next interview question is, how do you handle server firmware updates and why are they essential for server security and performance? Your answer should be server firmware updates involve updating the low-level software embedded in server components. They are essential for addressing security vulnerabilities, improving hardware compatibility, and enhancing performance. Updates should be applied cautiously following vendor recommendations. If you are preparing for any CompTIA-based certifications, you can download the complete list of valid, tried and tested questions and answers from the link provided in the description below.